In the subtropical wetlands of ancient Madagascar, there lived a frog so large that it saw everything from birds, reptiles, mammals, and even small dinosaurs as prey. Meet Beelzebufo, the devil toad. Now this frog was actually a pretty recent discovery, considering the grand history of paleontology, being found in 1993 by vertebrate paleontologist David Krause. However, it took an astonishing 14 years for enough data to be gathered on the animal for it to be announced publicly in 2008 in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. This is where it was given the name Beelzebufo, which is derived from Beelzebub, a Semitic deity whose name is translated as Lord of the Flies, and is also used as another name for Satan in the Bible. The last part of its name comes from the Latin word for toad, making the full name translate to devil toad. Not ominous at all. Around 75 fossils were found in its first discovery, with a few being from its skull. Researchers have been able to use fossils we found along with comparisons with modern frogs and toads to reconstruct the animal, which was originally thought to have reached lengths of 16 inches long, about the size of a large pizza. However, in a study in 2014, the frog was resized to a little less than 12 inches. Still, it competes in size with the largest frog alive today, the Goliath frog. Beelzebufo belongs in the same family as horned frogs, named for the horns over their eyes, surprisingly enough. They're also called Pac-Man frogs because of their ability to open their jaws so incredibly wide that they can swallow creatures larger than half their size. The Brazilian horned frog is the heaviest of the living Pac-Man frogs, weighing 5 pounds compared to Beelzebufo's 7 pounds. These frogs have giant heads with thick and massive bones, allowing them to bite extremely far above their weight class. Beelzebufo is estimated at having a bite force of 2,200 newtons. To put that in perspective, that's stronger than most wolves and snapping turtles. This massive bite power was channeled through several sharp teeth on the top jaw. These recurved, needle-sharp teeth slammed down with death-dealing force onto insects, fish, reptiles, amphibians, and anything else that found themselves too near. And yes, that includes small or baby dinosaurs. Beelzebufo was not picky. One of the most famous parts of frogs is their tongues, and while we definitely won't find any of them fossilized, we can infer from modern Pac-Man frogs that Beelzebufo's tongue probably fired out when the bottom jaw lowered, just like in this video. If you look closely, you'll see their tongues unfurl almost like a hinge to their jaw, and snatch food using the underside. This tongue serves a completely different purpose than what we're used to seeing in frogs. Instead of the tongue being the primary weapon, it works as a way to surprise and subdue their target, so their powerful jaws can deliver the final blow. Back then, Madagascar held similar environmental conditions as it does today, with two main seasons, one hot and dry, and the other being incredibly rainy. However, the animals that Beelzebufo lived alongside couldn't be further than what lives there now, with a variety of animals like the sauropod Bipedosaurus, the apex predator Majungasaurus, the odd-looking Masaikasaurus, and a slew of crocs, mammals, and turtles. Beelzebufo had a buffet of meals to choose from, if they could fit in its mouth. Beelzebufo hasn't had a huge presence in media, but it was featured in the documentary Dinosaur Revolution, as well as Prehistoric Planet Season 1 and 2. It's a creature in Ark Survival Evolved as well, but largely oversized in order for it to be rideable. Alrighty, that wraps up May's Prehistoric Animal. As per usual, leave your video requests in the comments, check out the merch links in the description for some cool dino gear, and join the Discord to hang out with some cool dino-loving nerds. And as always, keep your pencils sharp.